good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time you're listening to this. I'm Paul. This is Pauline Theology's Daily Devo, and we are going through the book of James now, guys. We're in the book of James, and we are starting on verse 2 in chapter 1, and we will be ending on verse 4. So we just got two verses today. If you haven't read, go ahead and check it out. Stop the tape, read, read the scripture, come back, and we'll answer the four questions. If you've already read, well, no delay then. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. So what does James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4 say? Well, he says this. We should count it joy. We should esteem it as joy, all joy, or the fullness of joy, or pure joy. When we fall into these various trials that go on okay that's tough huh counting it joy being joyous in the face of trials but james doesn't leave it like that and i, I want to say this it's it's when you fall into various trials and so it will happen okay these things will happen it'll occur and so we've got to count it joy when we do seem to these things seem to come upon us but James doesn't leave there. The reason that we should count it as joy, he says, is because we know that the testing of our faith, that it produces or it makes steadfastness or endurance. And so the, the word for testing here is uh, is actually something like proving. You know, when you, when you, when you, you get something, you make it sure you, you want someone to recognize the, the strength that it has, it has to go through various trials and tests. And I think that's what he's saying here is that when we fall into these various trials, when we fall into these various uh, tribulations that, um, this right here, it just demonstrates the worth that we are in Christ. It demonstrates how much we trust in God. So that's what he's saying when he says, because it proves endurance and patience. And then he continues and says, this patience, though it has something, it says, let this patience have its perfect work so that we are complete and whole, lacking nothing. And so what happens is that we become a more complete person through the trials and tribulations that we go through. If we persevere, if we endure, because when we endure, it makes us a complete and whole person. So what is this saying about God? Well, I think this is saying first and foremost about God is that God desires for us to be whole and complete in him. That we would be a, uh, back to what we were when he originally created. It's actually greater than what we were because then we were innocent and now we would be uh, just or righteous. Because what we're doing is we're moving from uh, a particular situation of, of sin and struggle but through the the proving of our faith we recognize how much that we lean on god and how much he's changing in us uh, that he is creating in us something new that we are becoming the person that god has called us to be the perfection that he desires for us to be and this can only be shown to us this can only be shown to us through perseverance and so God desires for us to be whole and perfect. And God desires this. He strengthened us through these trials. Well, what's this say about man? Is that we, we should be joyful. We should be joyful when we go through these trials. Not because uh, the trials are, are happy. Not because the trials are awesome. No, sir. That is not the point of this text. That is not what James is trying to say. Man, when you go through trials, it stinks. It is the worst. It is never fun and it is not good. It, 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 it's, it's, it's a thumbs down, guys. But what we do is we find joy in the fact that God is trying to perfect us through these. 
when these things pop up, when they happen, we kind of just joy because we know that when we endure, I'm saying when, because I'm hoping that you guys will endure, is when we endure, that uh, we become more like Christ. We become more like Christ. And that's the goal that we want to have in this life anyway. And so being more like Christ brings joy. So when difficult situations and circumstances happen in our lives that we know, man, I don't want to be a part of this. This stinks. But we can find joy in it because we know once we go through it, once we finish it, that we will look more like our Savior and our Lord, our Master, Jesus Christ. So how can we apply this uh, to our situation? I think it's super, super easy to know how to apply it, but to apply it is the hard part. So the application is, man, when we're going through something difficult, be happy. Find joy in it, man. That that's that's the application is that when we go, because I know we all are going through something. There is not one thing or one person that is not going through or will go through or has been through something. And so what we have to do is in those situations, we have to say, hey, I'm a I'm accounted as joy, man. I'm accounted as a good thing because I know that in the end I'm going to be like Christ because of this. So let us do that. Today uh, uh, was the first part of what the three things that that James is kind of focusing on. And so, um, yeah, the first one is that we count it as joy through trials. And so may you count it as joy through trials, my brothers and sisters. And uh, if you're going through one now, know that when you get through it, that you will look more like your Savior, our Savior, and our Lord, Jesus Christ. I'll see you guys in the next episode.